Yo! Alright, look, I'm gonna start this video by saying I was right. Alright? I was right, I was right, I was right. As much as I did not want to be right, I was right. Alright, look, and this is what I'm gonna explain to y'all. I know why y'all are here. Title of the video, you already know. Fortnite drops this. 21 minutes ago, I've been procrastinating making the video. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it real quick. But look, boom, if you click on that, it brings you right into here. Fortnite and the Brew. Published today, 8 15, 2019, by the Fortnite team. <sighs> this is going to be some sad news, bro. All right. Hey, ya. Who, who, say, who says hey, ya? Hey, ya, folks. All right. I'm just going to read the whole thing and then I'm going to explain it because. It's not good. We've heard the frequent dis discussions, hashtag remove the mech and the brute, and decided this would be a good opportunity to explain the Fortnite philosophy. Please, we're all ready to listen. The mission of Fortnite is to bring players of all skill levels together to have fun, to have a fun experience where anyone can win. For example, everyone having a shot at that first elimination or the victory royale moment and the satisfying feeling that comes with it. Right now, we know there are players out there that have never had that opportunity. It's easy to spend. There ain't nobody with zero kills to win. Unless they just started playing. And... I'm going to take from that, so they're saying that people that might just finally be jumping on the bandwagon to play, it's a chance for them to be able to win, and people that are really, really bad, it's a chance for them to win. Okay, we get that. That's what we've said. We've already said that. That's my whole point. I already knew that. Another part of the mission is to provide a uh, spectacular, what is that, spectacle, spectacle and entertainment. Why would they use that word there? I was hoping it was something else. Another part of the mission is to provide spectacle and entertainment when playing Fortnite. I think that was that was word there. Bringing these moments to game every week means there is always a new way to enjoy the experience of the game. So I understand adding different things changes the game. You gotta adapt. Blah 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 blah. But come on now, the brute. When you add, they keep adding these different things, but not adding nothing and taking out what, and bolting what would be the counter. Uh, we take out planes, we give you a brute. We take, we take away balls, we give you a brute. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? We take away, uh, what else was it? We take away quad crap. We take away, if you're going to have something that is, you take away the infinity sword. If you're going to have something that is as dominant as this, as dominant as this, then you should unvault some other stuff. I'm, I'm just going to say that. The Brute was added at the start of Season 10 with the mission in mind. Since, since oh, with this mission in mind. Since then, we've, we have seen players who have previously struggled with getting eliminations, acquiring, acquiring more, while the number of eliminations earned by more experienced players has remained the same. The same. They're basically saying that good players are getting the same amount of kills as they were, and bad players are getting more kills. Well, who's dying? Can, will, you, will you ask me that? Can you ask me that? Are the good players getting more kills because the good players are now having to play more games to get those kills? I mean, because if the good players are getting the same amount of kills and bad players are getting more kills, there's only so many people in the lobby. You feel me? There's only so many people in the lobby. A good player is bound to get killed by one of these bad players that are using this, correct? There's no way around it. Which would in turn means he's going to get less kills and less victories unless he plays more games. So this is just a way to make good players play more games and, and give, and give uh, bad players an easier way to win. I'm not a bad player. I wouldn't say a bad player, but, you know, maybe not as good. 
Brute encounters should feel like a unique engagement and not to be a dominant ex experience during the game. Sir. Sir. When is it not a dominant experience? Unless you are close enough to get into homie's thing and he doesn't know that you're there. You run a huge ri you run a huge risk of what do you do if he sees you? It can blow you up like so easily. Like it just especially like if a duo's in it and like you might be split from your duo for a little bit, like but you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. There's nothing to counter it. Good players don't want to hop in this thing. I mean, give us the balls back. Give us a plane back. Give us something like that. Made adjustments in with the brute in arena in line with that goal. Specifically for arena, we made a change to spawn rate in order to reduce late game encounters. This is this is due to a higher number of players surviving to those circles compared to non-arena modes. We're happy with the results and below the graphs represent the current state of the brute eliminations across the arena and the core modes. We're going to check it out. Average brute eliminations per game. Solos. Duos is super high. They're killing stuff in duos. All right. Squads, a lot. Team Rumble, a lot. Solos in, a, in arena trios is not as much. Okay. I go along with that. I see that. What is that? Average brute eliminations per game. Percent of brute eliminate. They're saying it's less than 25% of kills are from brute. And like, what, one or two percent in solos? And like a very low percent? These two graphs don't even make sense. How you gonna have stuff way up there? What is this? Eliminations per game. Bruh! I mean, they're getting six, six, seven, six and a half eliminations. That's a damn lie. But hey, we're gonna go, we're gonna, hey. Above, you'll see the percent of all brute eliminations per game in each game mode, blah, blah, blah. We regularly have and will continue to release content that shakes up gameplay in Fortnite in unexpected ways. And we're committed to providing a constantly evolving, entertaining, and fun experience to all players. Fortnite team. It's official. This is what it is. If you are going to play Fortnite, learn to be an adaptive player. Because they're just heard what they said. They're gonna they're gonna shake it up. Just when you think you had the game figured out, they're gonna shake it up. So this is this is live today, man. This is live. This just dropped 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna hurry up and try to get this video out. No editing, no nothing. We just slapping it together, running it through OBS, hitting and record, and trying to get it out to y'all. So make sure y'all leave a like, comment down below. If you watch the whole video, uh you watch the whole video comment comment this if you're seeing this comment five down below and uh yeah i got you on my next video yeah all right man it's been your boy jd out of here